hi guys welcome back in this video tutorial we are gonna learn how to put the numeric and alphabetic validations uh, in react native so on behalf of this you can put the any kind of validation like email validation and uh, special character validation and whatever you want so with the uh, with the regex but how we can put the validation uh, the basic concept is uh, we are going to understand today so let's get started with that so first of all uh, I need a I need a state first of all so this dot state and I'm going to use the two state one is the name and another is the password both small in small case that's fine so here we will store the data uh, like a variable so here I'm going to I need an event so my event is here like on change text and here I have to call a function like function is validate that's fine okay so on this uh, I want to get the name of this text box and the, uh, I need the content of this text box so for pass the content I have to use the content like that text and the another one is the name so name is uh, name of this uh, input type is user name that's fine so I'm going to create a function here with the name okay I have to call this function with this keyword so validate so first parameter about the text and another one is type so first of all I will check here if type equal equal to username then I have to put the validation of a numeric uh, sorry alphabetic validation so uh, we are going to use something like that in the username we will only accept the alphabetic characters a to z and in the password we will accept the characters only uh, numeric from 0 to 9 so uh, here I have a small regex to use that so this is my regex so here I will check if alpha dot test that is the function to check the uh, validation in the text that it will check the rule is fulfilled by the text or not so I have the text okay so in this case I'm going to console dot one text is correct else console dot one and here I will type the that invalid text so after that we will change a lot of things like how to change the border and all but first of all just try to check that so I'm going to put here oops if we got an error here so 
I got an error here on line number 26th so I have to check that okay so I misspelled the one fine so let's see like I'm just start going to start typing text is correct so you can see that every time the text is correct so if I'm going to put here like something anil and after that I'm going to put the text like one two three and it will tell this the text is invalid if I'm going to just remove this then it will test tell that text is valid so that's fine okay on that I'm going to change the border whenever the uh, validation is going failed so let's need one more state which is a name validate and this is by default true fine so in this case I'm going to set the state it will be true always whenever it will come in this case and with that case it will always going to the false okay fine now I have to check the here okay I have to check on the username actually I'm going to put check Roma and I'm going to check here the st status of the state and this dot state dot name validate then I'm going to check it with the negative negative area so okay fine actually I okay that's all right okay uh, if this is not true then I have to add the style like for better view I can use the next line styles dot error which is my class for uh, red border fine and if this will true then it will add the only null means nothing so let's test that I'm going to use the test and just try to put something wrong then it will you can see that it will it will giving some red border so that we can check that this is the invalid so and in this case it will check the this is empty then still it will give uh, you the error fine so you can put here username like I want to put here anil and if you are going to put blank then it will give you the error fine so just put anil ok for now I have to check the same validation in the with the password so just put the same thing with the password and same thing with the uh, style so just change the style like this and here I'm going to 
just change the name state name password validate just add one more state here and th this could be true by default and now here I have to check here else if Oops. username equal to password then okay so just put in name also so it will just give the validation of 0 to 9 so I am I will check here num with the text and change the password validation everything is going to copy with the paste with the last thing and one more thing I have to use the password here actually small p so it could be work fine now and let's test that and I'm going to put here hello yes this is fine uh, because we just put the numeric validation with the password so if I'm going to put something wrong I mean without numeric then it will give me the error so that's fine so here guys you can see that you can change just uh, regex if you can put the regex of uh, email or unwanted characters or something special characters you can put here and use the regex like this so this is also very easy way i think to use the validation in react native so if you still have any query then let me know by the comment and please don't give please don't forget to subscribe our channel and please give a big thumbs up to the video if you learn something thanks guys thanks for watching this video